Welcome back to getting started with automation for vMix. Okay, in the previous video we looked at a little bit more detail about the scheduler. Now I'd like to show you uh, a more advanced schedule. Uh, this is a schedule we actually use on a weekly basis for the world of live streaming show. And you can see here that we have uh, several events scheduled for Monday at various times during the evening. You can see that we've used here the columns as I described in the previous couple of videos to uh, use, uh, switch in overlays. The important thing to note here is that a zero switches an overlay off whereas if you put a, a number other than zero in there it will actually try to switch that particular overlay on and here we have an example called up next up next is the name of an input in vmix which uh, I, w uh, I wish to have displayed at uh, 7.55 it's also interesting to note here as well that time must be entered in 24 hour clock and I probably should have mentioned that earlier Okay, now you can see in the, the column next to the, uh, the inputs that we have a series of uh, pieces of information to tell the scheduler what to do. So this can contain a file name to load onto a list or it can run a script or use any of the scripting commands and in this case um, I've used some scripts here to set things up for the World of Live Streaming show. The scripts are the most flexible way of using the scheduler. It's worth actually having a look at the scripting system and learning how it works because you can do so much more in one line of events. For example, this, uh, this schedule entry here actually does several things, uh, but it's all handled by script, so I didn't have to put hundreds of events into the schedule. As we mentioned in the last video, we have a description to tell us what it's doing, so that when you look at the log, it's meaningful to uh, human eyes. The next column is the title information and this is used by the um, automatic program guide and you can see here that I've got three entries, one is for our pre-show, one is for the main show and the last one is for the post show. If you leave this blank it doesn't show up in the schedule but if you do put something in here it will automatically generate something and in fact I can show you what that looks like. This is the schedule that's generated automatically by the system. Okay and just going back now to the schedule data over here in the last couple of columns we have title data key and playout key. You can put a link to your spreadsheet data in here so that at different times you can use different spreadsheets as your source information. So this will this blue column that I'm pointing out at the moment is for the title data and the, uh, the scripting and playout data is this key here in the pinky column. So you can as as you go from one show to another you may wish to change the title data key so that you can load up the cast information appropriate for that particular show. Uh, 